Maybe we'll live in the weird alternative universe. Hello, what's up? Gleb Alexander here for CreativeShrimp.com and maybe the world has gone wrong since the launch of the Large Hadron Collider. Maybe we live in the weird alternative universe, that's my guess. So everything is possible. So we can just do what needs to be done. Uh, we are going to launch a very cool update for the Space VFX video course for Blender. This update will be completely free and for those of you who have somehow missed the Space VFX course, it's the video course for Blender aimed at Blender beginners and intermediate users who want to realize their space filmmaking dreams. And how cool is that? So we call this update the Micro Polygon Displacement Update. It is also called Adaptive Subdivision or Tessellation. It was added to Blender quite recently, but I think it's a total game changer. What it does, it subdivides the object based on its actual size on the screen in pixels. So as you get closer to the object, or if you maybe enlarge this object, it gets subdivided more times, basically. This feature, when coupled with the displacement, opens up the whole range of creative possibilities. You can just zoom close to the planet surface and still see the details popping out and we believe that this simple feature opens a whole range of creative possibilities in a sci-fi realm you can create the alien landscapes the tech panels like you saw in Prometheus movie do you remember these gorgeous patterns on the space jockey spaceship or whatever it's getting weird and as I'm trying to speak loudly the coffee machine is even louder than me and that's kind of embarrassing you can zoom in really close to the exoplanet surface. By the way, there will be a whole tutorial devoted to the exoplanets and displacement. If you don't own the Space VFX video course, this update will be free anyway. But if you do own the Space VFX video course, even better for you because you will have an access to all the project files. So we'll be able to see how it was created and so on. And we were amused by your feedback, by the way. We love it. And thank you for wanting to have sex with your monitor. That's very kind of you. Space is awesome, Blender is awesome, and even if the world has gone completely mad after the launch of the Large Hadron Collider, we still can change the world of computer graphics. That was Gleb Alexandrov. Stay tuned, follow the updates on Facebook, and feel free to subscribe uh, to not miss the crucial updates like this one. Thank you so much. See you!